Get daddy some birthday donuts, huh? Are you gonna get him a birthday breakfast? So, Spartacus and I are currently on our way to go get some donuts so that Trevor can have a nice little birthday breakfast to wake up to. It is his birthday, obviously, but he's still asleep because he did work last night. So, thought it would be nice for him to be able to wake up to some donuts because both he and I have actually been wanting donuts for a little while, like two weeks or something. So I was like, I'm getting us donuts for his birthday. Okay, so got the donuts. I got him two glazed ones and then mine's in the middle. Mine is this chocolate sprinkle one. But I wanted to do something cute with candles, but we don't have any candles. And then also if I leave these out, I mean, yeah, they'll get slightly stale. But as I mentioned in previous vlogs, because we've been leaving the patio door open, we have a little bit of a fly problem. So I do need to close them, but maybe I'll do something cute on the bags. Okay, so here is what I did. It says happy birthday butthole because I call him butthole all the time to troll him. So there we go. <laughs> okay then folks go we're back in the car the birthday boy has requested sushi for today so I am gonna pick some up and then if you've missed previous vlogs we are gonna celebrate with a very small group of friends this Friday we're actually gonna rent a Duffy boat and kind of sail around Newport Harbor and just like kind of hang out we are keeping it smaller so these are people that like we have seen in the last few weeks we know that we're all good so it'll be like an intimate but fun little celebration <laughs> the birthday boy is going to open up a few of his presents. Oh, that's rude. Sorry, Spart. Jesus. Nice. Yeah. I think that's a tool chest for you. Right on. That's the one that I previewed for you the other day when you asked me to see who it's Do from. Do have an idea of who it's from? I think it might be from your dad in Sydney. Got it. Well, if it is, that's very kind of them. Wow, that's a nice one. It is very nice. I've needed this because the bag is... Uh... Yeah, so this is Trevor's current toolbox. <laughs> hey, I have to put my bag. hands under it because it's so heavy it might rip. <laughs> B, it, you, you don't know where anything is. Yeah. This is actually really awesome. Awesome. Spartacus, come here. I was hoping he would check it out, but I'm also hoping to get away. Come on, Sparkle. What's in here? Go in the box. Spark. What's in the box? Go. He does not want to go inside. <laughs> Don't. He's, he doesn't want to. Babe, he's so scared of that. Stop. I have a feeling this is from my mother because it's a... Uh, Andy's. Oh, nice. I was going to go to the grocery store and get you some of those today. I'm glad coronary I did Coronary artery. Because going. we would have, like, died. Very, I, I don't know who else it would be other <laughs> than my mother. Happiest birthday wishes, Mama. That was very nice. She knows I love my Andy. I like the theme of colors going <laughs> on there. I don't know if she meant no, that. No, she, you don't get to pick your gift. Well, you know what? She meant that. Okay, okay. okay. Bad mouth my mother. Oh, my God. I'm out of battery. Open it quickly. Well, oh, is this the wallet? Yes. Sweet. So show them what you got since the camera gave out. A uh, t-shirt. A Yoda t-shirt. And then show them the wallet. And then this awesome wallet. Nice. And that's the exact one that you wanted. So yes. And then we have the, just this big one. Oh, and this was from Sabrina. This mm -hmm. one was from my mom. This bag will be recycled into Christmas bags. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what this is. It looks like... Oh, it's another toolbox. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, nice, with actual tools in it. Yeah, so I let Otis know that you were planning to build our pantry, and I said, your dad and Sydney might already be getting you the tool chest, but mm -hmm. if he knows of any tools that he thinks you would need to build the pantry no, to get them, awesome. and I think he got you all of the tools you'll need to no, build this the pantry. Is perfect, because there's a couple, there's a couple, there's a lot there's of things in here I don't have. That's awesome. Dang, you got like wrench. the full set here now. It'll be a regular Bob the Builder. <laughs> Bob? Who the hell is Bob? Bob the Builder? You don't know about Bob the Builder? The children's little cartoon thing? Never heard of it. Am I supposed to? Ooh, electrical tape. <laughs> well, thank you all. Yes, this is very awesome. Okay, so Trevor got some more packages, but I got packages as well. So he's not the only one who gets to unbox things today. So, oops. This is from Target. And I already know what it is. So I wanna show you guys. So if you watched the last vlog, you know that we built new um, living room furniture, but we were shy of the storage boxes for our new bench. So these are them. Ooh, I love these. So they're this kind of like black wood grain. Super cute. I just want to see if it fits in here. Please fit, please fit. Yes. Here, I'll show you guys. Love it. Okay, this is perfect. This is like what we wanted. We wanted it to blend into the bench, but not be the exact same as the bench. So that is perfect for what we were looking for. Then this other package, I actually don't know what this is. <laughs> like legit, I don't know what package this is. Oh my god, no way. I might return my Amazon swimsuit then. So I got some swimsuits from Shein and these slippers. Just want some new slides. Ooh, okay, cute, <laughs> cute. Ooh, I got some shorts. And I am gonna do like a Shein first impression try on because I've never ordered from Shein before. But I got these shorts, um, but I'm gonna do that with a different order where I got like more clothing. But let me just show you guys these bikinis. So this first one, Love. Okay, so this is like a little bandeau, kind of like a nude rosy color, and then just like regular bottoms with a little cinch right there. Love that. And this next one, and I got four bikinis. I'm all set for summer. Also will motivate me to keep working out. But this next one looks like this, and it's got a little cinch right here very in because like these like sheared cinched details are in for the summer and I really like this like dark gray color because most of my bikinis are like light and fun which is great but I just wanted one dark bikini without like a black bikini so I like that it's like a very unique color and then here are the bottoms for this one very cute um, and just for reference, I did get mediums in all of these. And this came so fast. I am shocked. This one is a very, very bright, loud swimsuit. So here are the bottoms. This is a full butt coverage. This one is like a little bit more cheeky versus this one has a lot more coverage on the back. And this one I love because it's like this little one shoulder bikini. And I do prefer bikinis. I have tried to do like one pieces because these are so cute. But it sounds like counterintuitive, but because I hold a lot of my weight in my lower belly, one pieces actually more highlight that because you can see the fabric and like kind of like the little hump just from how it pulls on the fabric. So bikinis just tend to make me look a little bit slimmer. So yeah, just in case you need to know that. But then this one is my favorite bikini. So cute. So it's kind of like this white and orange tie-dye kind of pattern. I love the little like bend right here. I am a little bit nervous because it is a wire bikini. I obviously like I don't want anything pinching underneath so I'm hoping that the fit will be okay. And then here are the bottoms a little bit cheeky as well but I don't mind that. So yeah these are my new bikinis. I'm excited and uh, 
guess I'll be wearing one of these on the boat on Friday. Okay, another day, another unboxing. I honestly was so excited for this to come in. I've been waiting for this package for so long. The shipping on it took forever. I don't know what the hell was up. This package has taken like the longest out of any of my packages. And of course, it's like the thing that I've been wanting pretty much the most. This contains like a few different things that like I've been waiting on, whether for projects or I've just been wanting it for a while. The first things are a couple of pairs of shorts from Boohoo. A lot of influencers have been posting about these shorts. These are like the perfect sweat shorts basically to like be wearing inside because some of us are still quarantined. Hi. And as we roll into summer, sweat shorts are definitely a trend for summer. I mean, this whole quarantine vibe is definitely going to be present in fashion but everyone's been posting about these loop back lounge shorts that I've been really wanting to try and I'm so confused right now I'll show you why in just a second but um, I finally got them I was finally able to jump in in time when they were still in stock because they sell out constantly like all the time right away the second they're in stock they sell out so I'll put the link below and if you guys want them keep checking that link see if you guys can catch them in stock but this is the pair again these are from boohoo these are the mix and match soft loop back lounge shorts in stone and I got mine in a size us 6 so this is the first pair but why I'm so confused is the black pair that I ordered from the same link off of the exact same page looks completely different. Here, I'll show you guys. So first off, the length on these is totally off. Two different lengths, and these are the exact same size. Yep, US 6, exact same size. Again, came from the same link. And then the band on these is completely different. Like this one has this like ribbed band super good quality really sturdy and then this one's like a fold over band and this is a faux drawstring when this is like a regular drawstring so i don't know what the hell happened like why are these so freaking different i feel like i got ripped off on the black pair because the black pair is definitely not what i was expecting the stone pair is what i was expecting but this is not what I ordered. It actually does have the same label and everything, like the exact same name and stuff. So I don't know what Boohoo's trying to pull here, but here's a close up. This is not the same shorts as this, 100%. So no idea what's going on, but I mean, I'll still wear them. It just, I feel like that's not right. But then I also got, it's a three pack of biker shorts. So here is what they look like. They're just like kind of the longer pair. These are a little bit see-through. Wow, this is actually pretty see-through. I don't know how well you guys can see that there, but geez. Okay, well, I don't think I really want to keep these. That's like really crappy quality. That's kind of a bummer because I had actually wanted to bleach tie-dye these and then wear them as a set with a crop sweatshirt that I got that I'm gonna bleach tie-dye, but I'm not gonna do that with these. Like, you're gonna see my underwear right through these if I bleach dye them, so. Those will be going back, and I think, I don't know, I might return these because this is not what I ordered, like, 100%. That's not this, so. I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll try these on and, and decide. Actually, here, I'll try on both of these for you guys. Hey, on. Tiny workout shorts because I'm about to work out, but let me see how I like these. They're not like the worst, they're just not what I ordered. Actually, I lied. I'll keep these because I don't mind them at all. I just, I wish that they had been more what I ordered. And then here are the stone ones, which is what I actually ordered or thought I was ordering. So there you go. Like they're just definitely more relaxed. They have pockets, the other ones don't have pockets. Completely 100% different shorts, but maybe I'll actually bleach dye these actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because these would be a good pair to bleach dye. Okay, decision made, keeping these, returning the biker shorts, and then obviously keeping these because this is actually what I had ordered. Okay, so it's later in the afternoon and I've decided that I am just gonna go ahead and head to the grocery store to go grab all of the snacks and stuff and drinks for Friday. So we're gonna be doing just like a little tiny charcuterie board, like maybe a little bit of salami, maybe one or two types of cheeses, some crackers and some olives. So I have a ton of olives at home 
we're good on that for sure. But I just need to get us one more cheese and some crackers. And then I wanna do just like a little mini veggie tray, just some like carrot, celery, tomatoes, and then Trevor's not a ranch fan as I am not either. So I think I'm gonna do bitchin sauce because I'm sure most of our friends haven't tried bitchin sauce. So I'm gonna do some of that and maybe like some pita chips or something with it. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick little grocery haul slash preview of the boards that I'm gonna put together for Friday for the boat. So this first one is for the veggie tray. We have some grape tomatoes, baby carrots, and then some cut up celery sticks. And then I'm gonna do some bitchin sauce for dipping. I don't think any of our friends have like officially tried bitchin sauce, but like I can promise they're not gonna miss ranch or blue cheese with this bitchin sauce out there. It's amazing. And then for the cheese board, I have some of these flatbread crackers. These are like an everything bagel kind of vibe on them. And then I have some prosciutto, some Italian dry salami, salami's Trevor's favorite, so got a big pack of that. Then I have this block of Tillamook medium cheddar cheese. It's a really, really big block, and I just figured we could just like slice off of this one. We have a ton of it left. No need to buy a new one. And then I also got some Borsin cheese. This is the garlic and fine herbs one. I love Borsin. It's amazing. It's like one of my favorite things ever, so I'm excited for this. And then I think the only things that I'm going to need past this is like some pita chips to maybe go with the veggie tray to dip in the bitchin sauce if people want, and then just some potato chips just on the side in general. And then I also got these. I really really love perfect bars specifically the chocolate chip peanut butter one so I thought it would be fun to try these out these are like little cubes of it so you can have just like little bite-sized pieces of it currently defrosting some shrimp for my dinner I'm about to make a shrimp Caesar salad but right now is craft time <laughs> bunch up so much on me maybe I should have left it a little bit longer but that's fine actually no I like where it's like ending up it's just like curling in some weird direction but yeah I like this god yeah maybe I should maybe I did cut it a little bit short but I still like it I think I'm gonna go with it I don't know I'll decide for sure tomorrow but Cute, and I would do it with a pair of denim shorts, not with these like sweat shorts, but yeah, let me look at this a little closer. Yeah, this is perfect. I like it because like the swimsuit is peeking out a little bit underneath it, you can see it, but it'll like keep my arms warm and stuff, and yeah. And then if you're wondering, this is my newest tattoo. I got it, got like a year ago, I think. It's in a previous vlog. I did vlog when I got it, but this is a quote from Casablanca, which is my favorite movie, but love, okay. I'm into it, it's cute, I like it. But I think I will bring this sweatshirt too with me tomorrow in case it's like super, super cold on the boat. So you guys might see this sweatshirt a lot. This is my favorite sweatshirt right now. It's like the best, it's from Miss Lola. I wore it in the last vlog, so clearly I love it. But I'm gonna start prepping the rest of like the party stuff that I can prep right now, just because I am still working like a half day tomorrow. Like I'm working from home, but still, like I need to be focused on work for at least the morning. So I definitely wanna get whatever I can started
Okay, so this is going to be the extent of my preparation that I can do. Everything else I need to do tomorrow, but I just basically cut up half of a block of cheddar cheese into just some strips and then I put them in foil and then a layer of cling wrap just so that the air doesn't get in so that it doesn't dry out. And then I prepared this little veggie tray. We have some carrots, some celery, some grape tomatoes, and then bitchin' sauce in here for snacking. <laughs> then dinner is served. So the Caesar is just like a Caesar salad kit. The one that I get is the Taylor Farms. I've showed it before. It's really, really good. It's my favorite one just because the lettuce is shredded. The croutons are like crouton crumbles. It's just really just good all around. And then basically I just saute up some garlic and butter and then add in the shrimp and then top it off with some parsley. The shrimp is actually pre-cooked shrimp so it makes it really really fast and easy to just kind of like cook up with a little bit of flavor and then I do my fancy toast basically just instead of toasting my toast in a regular toaster I do it on the George Foreman grill so it gets these nice grill marks with a little bit of olive oil then afterwards I do some like cracked sea salt on it with some parsley but this is just like a very easy but fancy shrimp caesar salad dinner and then i wanted to show you guys if you watched my recent favorites this one is the one from aj that's really my favorite i just got it today it's the lime and watermelon one so so good if you love sparkling water and you like summery flavors this is gonna be like your best friend hey guys so it's friday and it is duffy boat day for us i like just jumped off of a meeting and I ran over here to Baskin Robbins to get Trevor this as his birthday cake. This is their new like polar pizza. It's basically like a brownie and ice cream pizza. I got the mint chip one because mint chip is his favorite. And last time we were at Baskin Robbins, he saw it and he was like, ooh, that looks really good. So I figured that this would be a good birthday cake for him and I'm trying to make like a left across a really major street right now, so. Okay, thank God. So picked that up. I was like so worried though. I wanted it to be a surprise and he woke up and came downstairs as I was leaving, but I guess he needed to leave too. So he didn't even question why I was leaving. I was just like, I'm going to the bank. <laughs> Hopefully he'll have left by the time I get back because I don't want him to see this, but I am questioning how I'm going to make this fit in our freezer because our freezer is like not conducive to wide things but i'll just figure it out okay so now it's time to start assembling our cheese board and i'm all ready i just need lipstick like my lips look really pale but here it is with the little swimsuit peeking out it's cute i like it trevor thinks i'm gonna freeze but we'll see <laughs> Okay, so I fit it all in as best as I could. Everything's like sliding off because this is a very small board, but close enough. And then I'll just bring all the extras in like a little baggie. You excited? Mm -hmm. We are on our way to the boat. It's gonna be fun. Trevor says that he dressed himself like a boat captain today. What? I'm sorry. No, that's what you said. Oh, they're actually open. What? There's a flower shop right by us that we've literally never seen open. We've only been ever. here since August. <laughs> I've never seen it open until right now. It's the first time. I belong, I belong to you.
man. You enjoying it? Huh? Yeah. You enjoying it? Yes, I am. It's super cool. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Was it Skyler's driving? I'm thinking it is. <laughs> Our friend Skyler drove. He's not the straightest driver. To be fair, the Duffy boat seemed very difficult to drive. Yeah. So now we're heading back to our place for pizza and cake. Take me to your heart. I belong, I belong to you. All right, so we're out here waiting for our Uber. There's Trevor back there. We're gonna go meet my parents for dinner. We've been a little hungover all day, but um, speak for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna start sleeping until 3 p.m. That's because I went to bed at 4 a.m. <laughs> Anyways. So we're gonna go meet them for dinner, but it's like down by the pier. So we figured we'd just like head straight over there. And even if like my parents aren't there yet, not a problem. Cause then we can just like walk around the beach. Okay, so we just got done with dinner and now we're getting a little dessert. This place that we saw and we've been wanting to try. Okay, so here are our milkshakes so you guys can actually see them. I got the campfire, which is basically a s'more one. And then Trevor got this one, what is this? The street? The street. Yeah, that's the name of it, but it's basically like a cookie, kind of a milkshake. How is yours? Glorious. Attempt number two to go to Target. It'll be open for sure this time. If they're not, then I don't know what they're doing. Right? Are you tired? Mm -hmm. He couldn't fall asleep last night. So I did fall asleep. Cranking. But he woke up and then couldn't go back to sleep. I had a nice young lady doing her YouTube shit. Wake me up. You wanted me to come to bed. I had to edit in bed. So Trevor has a little co-pilot here that refuses to get off of him. <laughs> Just hanging on for dear life. Update, we got him off. I've nicknamed him Darth Maul because he looks like Darth Maul. Sunday errands complete, except for at some point I need to go to the grocery store, but that is probably a tomorrow issue. But right now we're gonna go get some sandwiches from Firehouse Subs. I had it like the other day for the first time. It was so freaking good, but Trevor didn't have it. So he wants to try it. I have 
just been a filming all afternoon. I'm sure you can tell because I am clearly put together right now. But I'm just gonna be working on cleaning up the house for the rest of the night because it needs a little bit of help after Saturday's festivities. But I just wanted to sign off and just say really quick that I know the last week has been very trying emotionally. I mean, how the last few months have been very trying in general. And I just want to remind everyone to please continue to be kind to one another and possibly even more importantly, be kind to yourself. Take the time to address your mental health and shut off social media, shut off the news and just have some time with yourself so that you don't get burnt out by everything going on around you because you can't support other people if you aren't taking care of yourself and in a good mind space. So yeah, that's my little request as we sign off. Be kind to each other and just take care of yourself. And I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye.